video, this is Amir Asaya with your Mortgage Minute. So the topic of this video is about should you purchase a home or should you not purchase a home? Rent versus buy. This is a great video for people that are thinking about purchasing. And if you're already a homeowner, I really encourage you to forward this to anyone in your network that's been talking about possibly purchasing a home. Some of the pros and cons, it's important for me to really explain this for people to understand, okay, I'm at this point in my life and I'm renting and should I purchase? So pros first off is, you know, as rents increase, when you have a fixed rate mortgage, your payments are set. It's going to be uh, immune to some of the gyrations that happen uh, as far as your landlord possibly increasing your rent. You know, I hear a lot of renters saying, Amir, we want to purchase my landlord just increased my rent five or $600 or we know it's coming. Rates are low. It makes more sense to be able to purchase compared to renting. So you have to always look factor in uh, at what time in the market you're in. This video is being shot in April 2016, April, May of 2016. In two, three years, rates on mortgages will be much higher and rents could be lower. So you have to really factor, where is that type of equilibrium sitting right now between rent and purchasing cost-wise, right? The other thing as far as pros, there is still the mortgage interest deduction. So the government basically allows you to deduct your interest in terms of what you pay on the mortgage towards your taxes. So of course, a consultant, accountant, a CPA to give you that advice. Some of the other pros is that you build equity, of course, very straightforward. I know a gal that's been renting for 18 years, the same apartment. And I'm like, man, that really kind of stinks because after 18 years, her rent went up in Logan Square and now she needs to buy a new place. 18 years just gone of rent and that 18 years you would almost own that place you know so these are some things to think about uh, i think as far as cons uh and first and foremost what i always tell people is that remember you know it reduces your mobility you know when you're renting you can move year to year or month to month whatever your lease assignment is but when you purchase there's a chance you may not be able to sell right away sometimes the market turn times for selling a property could be 90 days 120 days whatever it might be, so it's not quick, okay? So you have to really think about that. I always recommend to be in their home at least three years. Anything less than that may not make sense because of costs. It's the other con. When you buy a place, you're averaging about 3% in closing costs. So that could be pretty hefty and it takes time to recoup that. When you go sell a property, if you use a real estate agent, in most cases you're paying 5%, if not 6%, another 2 to 3% in closing costs, right? So. These things eat away into your equity. Um, the other thing is that there's renovations now. You're the landlord of your own place. You have to pay for maintenance, anything else that's involved in that property, okay? You have to get homeowner's insurance. That could be a little more expensive than renter's insurance, um, things like that. Lastly, what I'll say is you're determining whether or not to purchase. You know, you really wanna make sure you take your gross monthly income, get that number. Let's say it's $5,000 a month before tax. And whatever your outgoing mortgage payment is, including everything, assessments, if you're buying a condo or townhome, property taxes, the homeowner's insurance, the PMI, if you're putting less than 20% down, that total payment, in my opinion, should not be more than about 28% of that $5,000, okay? So it's called a debt to income ratio. You wanna make sure your housing expenses are not more than 28% of what you're making monthly. That's a really good rule of thumb. So that's how to kind of go through this. Hope it was helpful. Ask a lot of questions, ask the right people, ask other homeowners, you know, go out there, have some fun, but it's an important decision and you wanna just make sure you do your diligence, okay? Talk to you soon.